let's dive in into the specificity just to see some examples. I, I'm not going to, to, to show a comprehensive list of uh, features. Uh, in any case, it's not very complex. You can see the specification and in the, in, the, in the slides that we will provide, you have the links to everything. So I'm going to just focus on the minimal thing that you can uh, use to, to make uh, an open API uh, specification work. So, well, basically the, the open API uh, document uh, specification is, is a JSON file or a YAML. Yeah, it's, uh, it's the same. Uh, and uh, they have, uh, this, this file should have four different parts and start with the property open API. But the way I'm gonna use YAML, that is, in my opinion, much easier to read. Um, uh, with this line, you're, you're saying that this is a file with the, for the specification. The first part, the, the info part, um, it's um, a section where you say the version of your API <laughs> and the description. You, this is a mandatory, the mandatory elements. And uh, then you can specify optional things like, for example, the licensing that, you, that you're going to uh, put in your, in your API. And also the endpoints in a, in a link, uh, uh, well, you can have one endpoint, different endpoints, even uh, parameterized uh, uh, endpoints for production, for, for testing, etc. Uh, but mainly these are the first open API and the info elements are the, are the mandatory. Then uh, you have the other mandatory element that is the paths uh, uh, section. In the path section, you, you do the review of the different uh, resources that you're going to expose. So for example, in this case, we have one resource that is pets and it, it will allow a get operation over it. You have some, you can have some description Operation ID is something that is uh, optional and is for linking to some tooling. So one of the uh, tools that we're going to use, create an scaffold and, and assume the, the, the existence of an, of an operation called get pets in your code. So that's the way they, they link together your code with the scaffolding. Then uh, another uh, mandatory element for the paths is the response. At least you, ha you, you have to have one response for, for, for every, for every uh, method associated with a, with a, with a, um, a URI. And for example, well, the typical thing, the default one is two, uh, 200. And in, in, in this case, you can also specify the contents of, of the result of that resource. In this, um, in this case, they they are um, uh, these resource of get pets will return an array of uh, elements uh, of type pets. This way of specifying the structure of the data is relying on the on another specification that is widely used that is JSON schema. JSON schema it's a way of specifying the structure of a of a JSON object. So uh, you can rely on, on this specification to create complex uh, structures. And uh, if you want, you can have a default uh, response where you can have some, for example, for, for the error model. No? As you can see here, you, you have some references in these elements. And these references are to the component section of the, of the, of the uh, file. This component section is, 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 is widely used in order to reuse different schemas the whole, uh, along the, the different um, paths. Because typically you will have uh, uh, all, all sorts of operations over the same resource. So uh, in order to avoid repeat the same schema all over again in the whole specification, you can have this component and then you, you have the reusable element for the, for the schemas. And um, for example, uh, another uh, example of a, of a, of a parameterized um, resource, you, you, whenever you want to, for example, um, access a specific resource, you can have parameterized in the URI, uh, in the URL, uh, and this uh, parameter, the, the only thing you need to, to do is to uh, specify the, the type of the, typically is a, is a string, and then the same, the same again. Just to, 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 to have a final uh, part of, a, of an example, um, this is how the component looks like. The components, uh, just, they rely on the JSON schema, and in this case, 
the pet that you're going to use in the other in the paths that you have seen it uh, has some properties and the, the properties are required right? in this case uh, every pet has an id a name mandatory and then also uh, they can have well in this case only two properties of type so this is i'm not going to to do it go in detail because you can go to json schema to to see all the details uh, but let me just uh, go through three new features that are that are new to this uh, version three that are advanced issues but are very useful in real cases uh, apart from this element uh, these uh, four uh, parts of the specification uh, version 3 also introduced the idea of links and this is really interesting if you if you want to do some uh, if you want to uh, create connections between the different paths so this is uh, quite aligned with the original philosophy of, of rest uh, because uh, you can have this transfer of a state between different elements so uh, for the first time you can introduce these links and this operational semantics so every time for example a user access a resource you can tell him that uh, you can also access these two other um, dynamic paths and the translation of the path it is done automatically and so for for complex apis this is really good then uh, they also introduce the idea of callbacks for the first time you can also specify how you can have a specific paths that require um, a callback uh, to the person that is calling. This is very useful if you want, for example, an asynchronous operation that is going to take a long time. So you do the operation, the rest operation, and you specify uh, your uh, endpoint to be called. Uh, and uh, this is typically called a hook or web hook. Uh, this is also that is part of the new specification, how to specify the callbacks in a standard way. And finally, also security has been improved a lot. Uh, uh, version 2 has, has some uh, security mechanism, but uh, in version 3, uh, uh, different elements have been incorporated. So now you can have security based on HTTP authentication, the API, API keys, uh, the simple way. OAuth and uh, OpenID is for, for, for parts.